everybody. It's so good to be here with you as we continue shouting out gratitude all month long. Now, it's our last Sunday in November, so that means this is our last week talking all about gratitude, which is letting others know you see how they've helped you. So all of November, we've been talking about how much we have to be thankful for. If you remember our shout out wall, we gave so many shout outs to God for all the good things he's done in our lives. So there's so much to be thankful for, and it's so important to remember to show that gratitude to others. We also talked about how there's so many different ways to show gratitude. Remember the story about David dancing to celebrate and give thanks to God? Right, there's so many different ways we can show gratitude to others as well. But now here's another really important thing about gratitude. Just because Thanksgiving's over doesn't mean we should stop being grateful. It's not something that we just do one month out of the year. Gratitude is something that we want to do all year long, always. We always want to be able to give gratitude to those around us. So today, we're gonna talk about making gratitude a habit. So a habit is a behavior that we do without even thinking about it. Something that we do so much that it's just become a routine. So you can think about a habit maybe being brushing your teeth, right? You brush your teeth every day. You probably don't even think about it anymore. But when you first started to brush your teeth, you probably had to give yourself some reminders to do that every single day, right? Maybe you leave your toothbrush on the counter to help you remember to brush your teeth. Well, gratitude can be the same thing. It's not always easy to remember to show gratitude, but the more we do it, the more it will become a habit where we don't even think about it. We just automatically say thank you and say that we see the other things that people are doing to help us. So our bottom line this week is remembering to make gratitude a habit. So you can do different things to help you remember whatever's gonna work best for you. Maybe it is leaving out a card with a reminder somewhere where you see it that reminds you to say thank you. Or maybe it's coming up with a whole list of things that you're grateful for so that you can constantly remember every single day the things you're grateful for and then to say thank you to the people who've helped you get those things. Saying thank you to God for all the things he's blessed you with. So my challenge for you this week is to find the one thing that's gonna be the most helpful for you to make gratitude a habit. Like I said, maybe it's writing a list or leaving out a reminder, a visible reminder somewhere. But I want you to find out whatever's gonna work best for you so that gratitude can become a habit that is all year long. All right, now let's go through our memory verse all together one more time for the month of November as well. And if you remember, it goes like this. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Psalm 136, one. All right, one more time, friends, all together. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. Psalm 136, 1. And that's exactly right. We want to give thanks to the Lord all the time because he is so good to us. He loves us always. He's always with us. And he has given us so many blessings and things to be grateful for in our lives. So we always have something to be grateful for and can get in this habit of gratitude. All right, now we have another special surprise for you this week because we're going to actually reveal December's word of the month right now. Today's actually the first Sunday in Advent. So we have a special thing that we're going to be doing every Sunday to celebrate Advent. But before we talk more about what Advent is, let's reveal our brand new word of the month for December. Are you ready at home? Get those drum rolls going so we can reveal our brand new word of the month. One, two, three. Our new word of the month is Christmas. And Christmas is celebrating God's greatest gift, the gift of Jesus. So this whole month, we are gonna be talking about the true meaning of Christmas, and that is Jesus. So to reflect on the true meaning of Christmas and to celebrate the coming of our Savior, Jesus, we are going to light a candle each Sunday in December. This comes from an old tradition where families during Advent would light a candle to reflect on the significance of the season. So each Sunday, the candle's going to be a different part of the story of Jesus' coming. Today, we are going to be talking about the hope. 
the hope that we have knowing that Jesus is our rescuer who was sent to us from God to save us. So we friends are going to be in our Bibles in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. So go ahead and open up to Isaiah chapter 9, that's our big number, verse 6, and you can follow along there. It says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So this verse is talking about Jesus. This is God promising to his people that he is going to send someone to save us and rescue us. Because in history and even throughout today, there's darkness in our world. There are things that go wrong, things that happen that are sad and scary. But God promised that he was going to send someone to save us and rescue us. And that person was Jesus. So today we get to celebrate with the hope that God keeps his promises. So we're going to light the hope candle all together to remember this. We will be reading from Isaiah 9, 6 through 7. As God's people were about to head to, into exile, God delivered hope through a promise. Some things were all the over. A king would come who would all things new. Christmas celebrates the hope that God sent Jesus to fulfill that promise and rescue creation once and for all. Knowing that God has kept his promises in the past gives us hope that God will continue keeping his promises in the future. Awesome. Okay, Finny, which candle is this? What's it called? Hope candle. Hope candle. Okay, here's a hope candle. Now we're going to light it. Can you help me? I'm just going to hold it up. Okay, Aubrey's going to pray for us. Oh, now we're going to pray for you. Okay. Dear God, thank you for reminding us during this time of year that you are keeping your promise every single time. Thank you for the promise of Jesus. Thank you for the hope that we have in him. All right, friends, well, let's remember to have hope because God keeps his promises. Now, we're going to be back here next Sunday to light our next candle in the Advent wreath. If you haven't stopped outside the front entrance of church to pick up your Christmas bag, you can go ahead and do that, and all the supplies that you and your family need to light the candles on the Advent wreath are in that bag. So there will be more outside of church. You can stop by any time and pick those up, and then we will see you back here next week as we light our second candle in our Advent wreath. We'll see you then, friends. Bye.